Hi, I'm Missy. Thank you for being here today and doing some yoga with me. So today we'll be using blocks. So if you have blocks, definitely get those. Um, or if you don't have blocks, you can use a book um, or, or whatever you have around that's available for you to use. Um, so we will get started. Um, we will start in a reclined position. So just allowing ourselves to come onto our backs. You can extend those legs out in front and allowing the lower body to lower down, bringing those arms out to the side. Palms can be facing up and you can close those eyes and just allow yourself to settle here. Take a nice big inhale through the nose to fill the body all the way up and then an open mouth exhale to release everything out. If you feel any tension in the body, just allow it to release. Allow yourself to let it go. Let the chatter of the mind settle and allowing yourself to be present. And we'll take this opportunity to start to build our breath connection. I'd like you to take those nice slow inhales through the nose, filling the body all the way up. And then a nice slow exhale out through the nose. As you're taking those inhales, I'd like you to notice the breath moving up through the belly, through the lungs, to the chest. And then as you take that exhale, really notice the emptying out of the body. So as we inhale, feel that body filling all the way up with our breath. And then as we exhale, noticing the emptying out. Allowing ourselves to slow everything down and to find this connection with our mind body and our breath. We'll take three more rounds of breath here. So important as we move through our practice today to keep this breath, to always come back to that connection. Helps keep us focused, and to keep us moving through our practice. You can slowly start to open those eyes and let's take a bend into those knees. So take a bend into one knee and then the other. And if you have a block handy, you can grab that block and we'll take it the long skinny way. So that nice thin end will be facing towards us. Actually, we're gonna take it this way and bring it in between those thighs. So Placing that block in between the thighs. Allow the arms to come down by the side body. Palms are pressing into the earth. Bring those heels closer in towards our bum. And we're coming up into our bridge pose. So I'd like you to press into the soles of the feet. And knees and thighs will bring us up to rise. We come into our bridge pose, hold it here. And even as you're here, remind yourself to press into the soles of the feet. And you might feel a nice little shift of the body. Keeping that core engaged. Belly button in towards that spine, hold it here. Keep your breath, those inhales and those exhales. Take a nice big inhale together. As we exhale, lower that body all the way down. Nice. Now we're moving on our breath here. As we inhale, press into the feet and bring those arms up overhead, hips rise up, we come up into that bridge pose. And then as we exhale, bring those arms back down and lower the body down. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, bring it down. Again, keep that core engaged, belly button in towards that spine. We're gazing up towards the sky. Exhale, bring it down two more times. Inhale, press into the feet, bring those arms up. Exhale, bring it down one more time. Inhale to bring it up. 
and then exhale to bring it down. Awesome, staying right here. And if you have that block, keep the block in between the thighs and we're bringing those knees into a 90 degree angle. Hold it here. And you can flex the toes or have them pointed. And I want you to lift the shoulder blades up off the ground. Fingertips point towards the front of the room. Again, think about the engagement of the core. Belly button in towards that spine. Hold it here. We're taking movement now. We're taking baby pulses for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10 more for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Roll those shoulder blades down. You can release that block, set it to the side, and bring those knees in towards chest and take a little bit of movement here. Rock from side to side. And you can take some circular motions, rolling in one direction. And then take it in the opposite direction. And then draw those knees back in towards chest. Grab the back of those thighs and we'll take that rock and roll motion up and down the spine. And we're coming up through seated and we're coming into that tabletop pose. So coming into our tabletop. So shoulders are over wrists, hips are over knees. And again, that core is engaged. Belly button in towards that spine. Crown of the head is reaching towards the front of the room. Palms are pressing into the earth. We're nice and strong through the arms. And those knees are in line with those hips. Hold it here, awesome. Now we're starting to take movement here. I'd like you to inhale to allow that belly to drop down. Gaze can look up, tailbone lifts up. We're in our cow pose. And then as we exhale, we start to round the back, gaze comes in towards that navel, press those palms into the earth as we come into that angry cat. So inhale to come into our cow. Exhale to come into our cat, yeah. So I'd like you to move here on your own breath, taking those inhales and those exhales. And eyes can be closed or halfway, allowing yourself to really feel this movement. Feel the fluidity through the spine, through the body, feel the breath. And then taking any other movement that feels good here. It could be just swaying hips from side to side, or maybe it's holding your cat or your cow just slightly longer, or maybe it's taking an opportunity to allow those hips to go back over those heels in one direction and then taking it over to the other. So take these moments to find what is needed for your body. Allow yourself to listen. Feel the movement. Keep the breath. We'll meet into that neutral tabletop. Hold it here. Again, think about that engagement of the core. Belly button in towards that spine. Now I'd like you to extend that left leg out behind us, flex that foot like you're pressing off of that back wall. Yeah, nice and long, core is engaged, nice and strong here. Take this opportunity to extend that right arm out in front, fingertips reaching towards the front of the room, thumb knuckle up towards the sky, hold it here. Again, crown of the head towards the front of the room, reaching through the fingertips, pressing through the heel, building strength right here in this pose. <laughs> Holding strong. Take an inhale together. As we exhale, bring that knee in towards that elbow, rounding of the back. Inhale to open it up. Exhale, bring that knee in towards that elbow. Inhale to open it up. Exhale that knee in towards that elbow. Inhale to open it up. Exhale that knee in towards that elbow. Inhale to open it up. Exhale that knee in towards that elbow. Inhale to open it up. Last time, exhale that knee in towards that elbow. Inhale to open it up, hold it here. Reconnect. Take an inhale together. As we exhale, bring hands and knee back down into the earth and taking just two more rounds of that cat cow motion. We meet back into that neutral tabletop, hold it here. Extend that right leg out behind us, flex that foot, hold it here. Again, core is engaged. Extend that left arm out in front, thumb knuckle up towards the sky, holding, lengthening, reach through those fingertips, press through that heel, 
Keep that core engaged, bringing leg and arm towards the midline of the body. Hold it here. Take an inhale together. Exhale that knee in towards that elbow. Inhale for it to rise. Exhale that knee in towards that elbow. Inhale for it to rise. Exhale that knee in towards that elbow. Inhale for it to rise. Exhale that knee in towards that elbow. Inhale for it to rise. Exhale that knee in towards that elbow. Inhale for it to rise. Last time. Exhale that knee in towards that elbow. Inhale for it to rise. Hold it here. Reconnect. Take an inhale together. As we exhale, bring hand and knee back down into the earth. Nice. Hold it here. I'd like you to bring the big toes to touch. Separate the knees slightly. And then allow those hips to go back over heels. And we're coming into a child's pose. And you can just allow the forehead to rest on the earth, holding it here for just three breaths. Always knowing that this pose is available for you anytime you need it during your practice. Such a great pose for the opportunity to rest, to reconnect. Let's slowly rise up, get back into that tabletop pose. Nice. So staying right here, we're taking some movement. I want you to come slightly forward on the knees. Yeah. And then bend into the elbows. Keep the elbows squeezing into that side body, bringing the body all the way down. Inhale to come up through our cobra. And then exhale to our child's pose. And then I want you to inhale to rise up to that tabletop pose. Exhale to bring that body down, elbows stay in towards that side body. Inhale to rise up through our cobra. Exhale to our child's pose. Inhale, rise up through our tabletop. Exhale to bring that body down. Inhale to come up through our cobra. Exhale to our child's pose. Two more times. Moving on our breath. Inhale, rise up through that tabletop. Exhale, bring that body down. Inhale, up through our cobra. Exhale to our child's pose. One last time. Inhale to rise up through our tabletop. Exhale to lower it down. Inhale, up through our cobra. Exhale to that child's pose. Awesome. Inhale to rise back up to that tabletop. Tuck those toes under. Press into the toes and allow those hips to rise up. We come into downward facing dog. So coming into our down dog pose, I'd like you to keep those feet hip width distance apart. Gaze is towards the back of the room. Think about those thumb pads pressing into the earth. We're in that nice V position. Hold it here. And let's take a little bit of movement, bending one knee and then the other. So we're pedaling out those feet, taking that dog for a walk today, stretching out the hamstrings. Yeah, nice. Let's meet into that neutral dog. Hold it here. Take an inhale to rise up into the tips of those toes, and then exhale those heels down. Again, inhale to rise up, exhale to bring it down. Inhale to rise up, and then exhale to bring it down. This time, inhale to rise up, and we're tiptoeing those feet up towards our hands. And I'd like you to inhale for that halfway lift. Hands can come to shins or to those thighs. Roll those shoulders back and nice and strong in this halfway lift. Exhale for forward fold. Inhale for that halfway lift. And then exhale for that forward fold. Inhale for that halfway lift. And then exhale for that forward fold. Inhale for those arms to rise up, gaze up towards the sky. Exhale those hands to that heart center. Nice. Inhale those arms up. And then as we exhale, let's come into those cactus arms and taking a back bend here. You can take a micro bend into the knees. Chest is reaching up towards the sky, opening through our heart center, shining that heart up, holding it here. 
On our next inhale, come out of that back bend. Fingertips reach up towards the sky. As we exhale, fold it forward. Inhale for that halfway lift. As we exhale, place our hands on the earth. Step back into our plank, holding here in that plank pose. Hold nice and strong. Core is engaged. Yeah. Hips are in line with the shoulders. This time around, let's come slightly forward on the toes. Allow the knees to come down. Untuck the toes. Bring that body down. Elbow squeeze in towards that side body. Inhale through our cobra. Yeah. Exhale to downward facing dog. Nice. Take that inhale to rise up into the tips of those toes. Micro bend into those knees. Gaze towards the front of our mat. And we can step, hop, or jump to the front of our mat. Inhale for that halfway lift. Exhale for that forward fold. Inhale for those arms to rise up, gaze up towards the sky. Exhale those hands to that heart center. Inhale those arms up. And then as we exhale, come into those cactus arms. And again, take a micro back bend. Gaze up towards the sky. Open up through that chest, through that heart center. Holding it here. Keep that core engaged. On our next inhale, rise up. Exhale to that forward fold. Inhale for that halfway lift. As we exhale, place our hands on the earth, but this time I want you to step that right foot back. Lower that right knee down. Inhale those arms up. Come into our low lunge, Anjaneyasana. Hold it here. Relax the shoulders. Relax the face. Take an inhale together. As we exhale, frame that front foot. Step back into your plank. Hold it here. Nice and strong. Come slightly forward on the toes. Now you can lower those knees down or with control, we bring that body all the way down. Nice. Inhale through our cobra. Exhale to downward facing dog. Awesome. On our next inhale, we step that right foot forward. We lower that left knee down. We inhale those arms up back to that low lunge. Anjaneyasana, hold it here. Take an inhale together. As we exhale, frame that front foot, step left foot up to meet right. Inhale for that halfway lift. Exhale for forward fold. Inhale for arms to rise up. Exhale, hands to that heart center. Inhale those arms up. And then as we exhale, we're folding forward. Micro bend into those knees. Inhale for that halfway lift. As we exhale, place our hands on the earth. Step that left foot back. Lower that left knee down. Inhale those arms up to rise. Hold it here. Settle in. Take an inhale together. As we exhale, frame that front foot. Step back into our plank. And we flow through our vinyasa to meet into downward facing dog. Step that left foot forward. Lower that right knee down. Inhale, arms up. Back to our low lunge. Hold it here. Settle in. Take an inhale together. As we exhale, frame that front foot. Step right foot up to meet left. Inhale for that halfway lift. Exhale for forward fold. Inhale for arms to rise up. Exhale those hands to that heart center. We're taking that one more time through moving on our breath. Inhale those arms up. As we exhale, fold it forward. Inhale for halfway lift. As we exhale, place our hands on the earth. Step that right foot back. Lower that right knee down. Inhale those arms up. Exhale to frame that front foot. Step back into your plank. Flow through your vinyasa. Meet into that downward facing dog. Or you can skip out on that vinyasa and meet right into down dog. Step that right foot forward. Lower that left knee down. Inhale those arms up. Exhale, frame that front foot. Step that left foot up to meet right. Inhale for that halfway lift. Exhale for forward fold. Inhale for arms to rise up. Exhale, hands to that heart center. Awesome. Inhale those arms up. And as we exhale, fold it forward. And I want you to stay right here in this forward fold. Take a nice bend into the knees. Feet can be hip width distance apart. Allow the chest to rest on the thighs. And I'd like you to interlace the hands behind the back. Roll the shoulders back, fists reaching up towards the sky, hold it here. Let the neck just hang, be loose. And then on an inhale, I'd like you to press into the feet, bend into the knees and come up into a chair pose, hold it here. Nice, holding strong. 
keep this arm by. And bring those palms to touch. Take a micro bend into the elbows. Take an inhale together as we exhale, fold it forward. And then inhale to rise back up. Exhale to fold it forward. Inhale to come back up. Exhale to bring it forward. Inhale to bring it back up. Exhale to fold it forward. Inhale to bring it back up. Exhale to fold it forward. Release the arm bind. Take an inhale for that halfway lift. As we exhale, place our hands on the earth. Step back into our plank. And flowing through our vinyasa to meet into downward facing dog. Let's bring those big toes to touch. Hold here in this down dog pose. Take an inhale to fill the body all the way up and then exhale it out. On our next inhale, that right leg will rise. So we'll bend that right knee, stack that right hip over left. Keep that left hip reaching up towards the sky. Keep those thumb pads pressing into the earth, holding it here. And you can take some movement through the hip if you'd like, circling in one direction and then the other. And then I'd like you to square off the hips, extend that leg out, take an inhale together. As we exhale, let's step that right foot forward, lower that left knee down, inhale those arms up, come into our low lunge on Janayasana, hold it here. Feel that front heel pressing into the earth. Open those arms out into a T, rotate them knuckles down, bring those arms to interlace. Roll the shoulders back, Gaze up towards the sky. And you feel the fist going down that left thigh. Yeah. Holding it here. Let's gently come out of the back bend. Release the arm by an inhale, arms up. Exhale to frame that front foot. Tuck those left toes under. Step back into your plank and flow through your vinyasa to meet into downward facing dog. Hold here in that down dog pose. Take that inhale to fill the body all the way up. And then exhale it out. On our next inhale, that left leg will rise. Bend that left knee, stacking left hip over right. Hold it here. Again, you can take some movement through the hip in one direction, maybe the other, maybe through the ankle, or maybe it's just staying neutral. Hold it here, opening up that hip. Keep your breath. Let's square off the hips, extending that left leg out behind us. Take an inhale together as we exhale, step that left foot forward, lower that right knee down, inhale those arms up to rise. Back to that low lunge. Relax the shoulders. Relax the face, yeah. Open arms out into that T. Rotate thumb knuckles down, bring hands to interlace. Roll those shoulders back and feel the fist going behind that right leg. Yeah. Gaze up towards the sky. Keep that left heel pressing into the earth. Hold it here. Opening up our chest, that heart center. Shine it up. They come out of the back bend, release the arm by inhale those arms up. And then as we exhale, frame that front foot, tuck those right toes under, step back into your plank and flow through your vinyasa to meet into downward facing dog. Hold here in that down dog pose. Settle in. On our next inhale, I'd like us to flow into our plank. So inhaling to roll in with that calf back to come into our plank pose. Keep that core engaged. Exhale back to that downward facing dog. Inhale to roll into our plank. Hold it strong here. Exhale back to that downward facing dog. Inhale to roll in like a wave into that plank pose. Exhale to that downward facing dog. 
One more time, inhale to roll into our plank, hold it here, and then slowly bring that body all the way down into the mat. Untuck the toes. I'd like you to bring those arms down by our side. And first I'd like you to lift the toes up, reach them towards the back of the room, feel this lengthening, this strength through the legs. And then allow the tops of the feet to come back down into the mat, and they're pressing strong into the mat here, so legs are strong. And then we're just lifting that upper body up. Lift that chest up, and let's keep that chin close towards chest so we're not crunching through the spine. We have this lengthening through the spinal cord. Roll the shoulders back, reach those fingertips towards the back of the room. Tops of the feet pressing strong into the mat, yeah. Take an inhale together, exhale to bring that body down. Ooh, you can place one cheek on the earth. Hold it here. Bring that chin back to that center point. And I'd like you to lift the lower body and the upper body at the same time. So lifting it up, reach those fingertips towards the back of the room, roll the shoulders back. Again, crown of the head reaching towards the front, chin is towards chest, maybe big toes come to touch. Feel that pelvic bone pressing into the mat, into the earth, hold it here. Keep breathing. On our next inhale, lift a little bit higher. And then as we exhale, bring it down. Place that opposite cheek on the earth. One more time, bring that chin back to that center. This time, let's interlace the hands. And lifting that lower body and that upper body at the same time. Yeah. Working this locust pose. Yeah. Holding here. Keep breathing. Pelvic bone pressing into the earth. Fist reaching towards the back. If the spine doesn't feel good, you can just have those fingertips reaching. Take an inhale together as we exhale, bring it all the way down. Ooh. Bring those hands into the side body to those side ribs. Press the palms into the earth and I'd like you to rise up and take that child's pose. Big toes come to touch, you can separate those knees. Ooh. And just let yourself take this opportunity to rest. Forehead can press into the mat and you can massage that forehead from side to side. Taking two more breaths here. Let's rise up through that tabletop pose. Let's tuck those toes under, press into the toes for hips to rise, and we come back into our downward facing dog. Yeah, knee here into the stand dog pose. Take an inhale for that right leg to rise. As we exhale, step that right foot forward, and we're rising up into our crescent, into our high lunge. Hold it here. Settle in, nice bend into that front knee. It's over that right ankle. Again, shoulders are relaxed. Hold it here. Bring those arms out into a T. Rotate thumb knuckles down. Bring hands to interlace. Roll those shoulders back. Gaze up towards the sky. Feel that fist going down the back of that left thigh. Hold it here. Feel that right toe mound pressing into the earth. Legs are strong, core is engaged. Opening up our heart, opening up our shoulders. Let's gently come out of the back bend. I'll release the arm by fingertips to reach up towards the sky. Take an inhale together. As we exhale, open up into warrior two. So come to the arch of that back foot. Settle into our warrior two pose. Awesome. Again, relax through the shoulders. Gaze over those front fingertips. Smile. <laughs> Bend into that right knee. You can see that big toe. Yeah, hold strong here. Breathe. Settle in. Take an inhale together. As we exhale, let's come into that extended side angle. So bring forearm to thigh. And I'd like you to reach those left fingertips towards the front of the room so that left bicep is by that left ear and we're lengthening through our side body. But you can gaze up underneath that left arm so you still get this heart opener. Press into the legs to rise back up into our warrior two. Hold it here. 
Slowly straighten that front leg. Allow the hips to reach towards the back of the room, fingertips towards the front. And we're coming into our triangle pose. So hand can come to shin, to ankle, or you can take a block and place it in the inside of that right foot. Yeah, hold it here. Left wrist is over that left shoulder. You can micro bend into that right knee. Gaze can be up towards the sky or down towards the earth. Take an inhale to rise back up, bend back into that knee. We're back into our warrior two, hold it here. Take an inhale together as we exhale, come back into that extended side angle, nice. Feel strong through the legs. With that left hand, I'd like you to come to that left hip. With the right hand, let's grab that block, place it in front of that right foot, more so towards those pinky toes, a few inches in front of that foot, and we're coming into our half moon pose. So allow the palm to press into the block. If you don't have a block, you can use a book or maybe a chair or a table. So we put that weight into that right foot. Whoops. <laughs> and then holding it here. Wrist is in line with that shoulder. And you can flex those left toes. Holding. Nice. Maybe you allow those left fingertips to reach up towards the sky. Keep that core engaged. Keep breathing. We slowly lower back down into our warrior two. Ooh, settle in. I was a little wobbly trying to watch what I was doing. Hold it here, settle in. Take an inhale together as we exhale, windmill those arms down, frame that front foot, step back into our plank and we'll flow through that vinyasa to meet into downward facing dog. Again, you can bring those big toes to touch in our down dog pose. Hold it here. Take an inhale to fill the body all the way up and then exhale it out. On our next inhale, that left leg will rise. We step that left foot forward. We're rising up into our crescent, into our high lunge. Yeah, hold it here. Settle in. Open those arms out into a T. Rotate thumb knuckles down. Bring those hands to interlace. Roll the shoulders back. And now you can keep the fist at the low back or maybe extending it behind the back of that right leg. Keep that core engaged. Keep the bend into that left knee. Gaze up towards the sky. Holding it here. Keep breathing. So important to keep that breath connection, to keep that focus. Gently come out of that back bend, releasing those fingertips up towards the sky. Take an inhale together. As we exhale, come to the arch of that back foot. We open up into our warrior two. So nice bend into that front knee, press into the razor edge of that back foot. Feel this lengthening through the side body as we lift those arms up. Yeah, gaze over those front fingertips. Hold it here. Ooh, relax your face. Relax the shoulders. Take an inhale together as we exhale, come into that extended side angle. Taking that right bicep by that right ear, hold it here. Again, you can gaze up underneath that right arm, opening through that chest, through that heart center, finding our connection, allowing ourselves to open up. Allow yourself to let whatever is feeling heavy on us to be released. Take an inhale together as we exhale, rise back up into that warrior two, slowly straighten that front leg. Allow the hips to reach towards the back of the room, fingertips towards the front, and then we come back into that triangle pose. Hand on shin, ankle, or you can place a block on the inside of that left foot. And again, you can gaze up, make sure wrist is in line with that right shoulder, hold it here. Take an inhale together as we exhale, rise back up. Take that bend back into that front knee. We're back into our warrior two. Take an inhale together as we exhale, come into that extended side angle. Bring that right hand to that right hip with our left hand. We'll grab that block. We're coming back into that half moon pose. 
Weight goes into that left leg. We stack that right hip on top of left. Flex the toes. Hold it here. Left wrist in line with that left shoulder. Maybe right fingertips reach up towards the sky. Feel that left toe mound pressing into the earth. Holding. Breathing. Yeah. Take an inhale together as we exhale lower down into our warrior two. Settle here. Take an inhale together as we exhale windmill those arms down. Step back into our plank and flow through that vinyasa to meet into downward facing dog. Hold it here. Take that nice big inhale to fill the body all the way up. And then exhale it out. On our next inhale, that right leg will rise. Step that right foot forward. Rise up into our crescent, into our high lunge. Hold it here. Let's interlace those hands behind the back. Roll those shoulders back. Gaze up towards the sky. Gently come out of that back bend. Fingertips reach up towards the sky. Take that inhale. As we exhale, come into our warrior two. Holding here. Settle in. Take an inhale together as we exhale, come back into that extended side. Holding, breathing. Take an inhale together as we exhale, rise back up into that warrior two. We come into our triangle pose. Yes. Maybe this time you flip that palm towards the back of the room, take a bend into that elbow, open through that shoulder, gaze up towards the sky. Breathe it here. If you have that arm bind, allow fingertips to reach up and rising back up. Bend back into that front knee, back into our warrior two. Inhale together as we exhale, come back into that extended side angle. With that left hand, it comes to that left hip. With our right hand, we grab that block and we're working back into that half moon pose. We rise up into our half moon, holding it here, breathing, holding. It's okay if we are wobbly or shaky, means we're working. I know I am. Take an inhale together as we exhale, lower back down into our warrior two, settle here. Take an inhale together as we exhale, windmill those arms down. Bring that front foot, step back into your plank and flow through your vinyasa to meet up into downward facing dog. Hmm. Again, take that inhale to fill the body all the way up and then exhale it out. On our next inhale, that left leg will rise. We step that left foot forward. Rise up into our crescent, into our high lunge. Hold it here. Bring those hands to interlace. Roll the shoulders back. Gaze up towards the sky. Hold it here. Gently come out of that back bend. Inhale, fingertips up towards the sky. As we exhale, come to the arch of that back foot. Open up into our warrior two. Take an inhale together as we exhale, come into that extended side angle. Again, maybe we take that arm bind. Fingertips reach up towards the sky. Turn the palm towards the back of the room. Take the bend into that elbow. Open up, gaze up towards the sky. Hold it here. Keep those legs strong. Keep that breath. If you have that arm bind, release the fingertips back up towards the sky. We rise back up. Slowly straighten that front leg. Take the hips towards the back room, fingertips towards the front, and we're coming into that triangle pose. Hand can come to shin or to ankle. Yeah, hold it here. Again, we can take that arm bind, open up through that shoulder, gaze up. So many options as we move through the poses and the practice. So really find what's needed as you're moving through. 
feeling the body, feeling the movement. Allow those fingertips to reach up towards the sky. And then allow that side body to bring us up to rise, bend back into that front knee, back into that warrior two. Take an inhale together as we exhale, come back into that extended side angle. Hold it here. Take that right hand to that hip. With that left hand, we grab a block. We come back into that half moon pose. Find your focus. Find your drishti. Keep your breath. Take an inhale together as we exhale, lower back down into that warrior two with control. We settle in. Take an inhale together as we exhale, windmill those arms down. Frame that front foot, step back into your plank. And we flow through our vinyasa to meet into downward facing dog. Nice, hold it here. Take that nice big inhale to fill the body all the way up. And exhale it out. On our next inhale, rise up into the tips of those toes. Micro bend into those knees. Gaze towards the front of our mat and we can step, hop, or jump. Inhale for that halfway lift. Exhale for that forward fold. Inhale for those arms to rise up. And exhale those hands to that heart center. Awesome. Inhale those arms up. And then as we exhale, fold it forward, micro bend into those knees. Inhale for that halfway lift. And as we exhale, place the hands on the earth, bend into the knees, and then we slowly come down into a seated position. We're actually gonna come right into Navasana, into that boat pose. So I'd like you to grab the back of those thighs, and this is modified Navasana, modified boat. You can straighten those legs if you'd like. I always take that modification, I have really tight hamstrings. I like to grab the back of those thighs. It reminds me to open to the chest through that heart center. Bring those arms out into the side. That core is engaged. Belly button in towards that spine. Hold it here. Breathe and hold. Take an inhale to open the body all the way up. And then bring it up. Open it up. Bring it up. Inhale, open. Exhale, bring it up. Inhale, open, exhale, bring it up. Inhale, open, exhale, bring it up. Inhale, open, and bring it all the way down. Ooh, let the body rest here. Allow yourself to just melt into the mat, into the earth. Notice the breath. Feel the beating of your heart. Feel the connection to your body. Let's start to take a bend into one knee and then the other. And bringing those arms down by our side. And we'll bring those heels close in towards the bum. Knees are hip width distance apart. Palms are pressing into the earth as you press into the soles of the feet to bring those knees and thighs up to rise to come back into our bridge pose. And then as we're here, think about pressing the soles of the feet into the earth as we open up even a little bit further and feel that shift of the body. Taking one more inhale. One more exhale, slowly lower the body down. And I'd like you to draw those knees in towards chest and rock from side to side. Massage that low back. And bring those arms down by our side. And then I would like you to start to lift the hips up. Actually, extend those toes up towards the sky. So we're coming into plow pose. Now you can stay right here if you'd like, or you can even place a block underneath that sacrum. Or we start to allow, we lift the hips up, press the palms and the forearms into the earth. Now you can stay right here. You can flex those feet. You can stay right here, and this can be your plow pose. I want you to keep that chin away from the chest so you can breathe through the neck, through that throat area. Hold it here. 
or maybe you can start to allow the toes to come down into the earth. Hold it here. We're holding for three breaths. Slowly start to lift the legs up. And as you do, I'd like you to bring your hands to the low back. Bring those elbows in so elbows are in line with the shoulders. And so lay, hands are at the low back. Start to bring those legs up towards the sky as we come into shoulder stand. So fingertips are reaching up towards the sky. And even lower it down just a little bit further so you get this lengthening through the body. Yeah, hold it here. Straighten those toes up towards the sky. We're in our shoulder stand. We want those elbows in line with the shoulders. Keep that core engaged, belly button in towards that spine. Holding it here. Breathe and hold. Nice. Start to take a bend into the knees. Knees towards the forehead and then slowly lower the body all the way down. Nice. Again, draw the knees in towards the chest. And rock from side to side. Massage that low back. Let's bring those knees into that center point. We're coming in for a happy baby. Grab the razor edge of the feet. Keep a flex up towards the sky. Rock from side to side here. Shoulder stand and plow are so good for the thyroid, for working our metabolism, our digestion. Helps with anxiety, depression. Surges energy through the body. Start to feel refreshed. Come into that neutral happy baby. Hold it here. Flex those feet up towards the sky. Press that tailbone into the earth. Yeah. I'd like you to lower the soles of the feet down into the earth. Keep the feet hip width, I mean mat distance apart. Bring arms down by our side. Allow the soles of the feet to come together. And then allow the knees to open so we come into Supta Baddha Konasana. And you can place one hand on heart or one hand on belly. Hold it here. Feel the movement of the breath. Find this connection. Allow yourself to feel refreshed, to feel open. Let's bring those hands to those knees, draw those knees in towards each other. Again, bringing those knees in towards chest, I'd like you to lift the shoulder blades up off the earth and come into this tiny little ball. Hold it here. Giving our bodies that well-deserved hug. Lower the shoulder blades down. Grab the back of those thighs. Take that rocking wheel motion up and down the spine. And then coming up into a seated position. And this time bring the soles of the feet together. Allow the knees to open up. And you can even bring the feet slightly um, out further so you're in more of a diamond shape. And then I just would like us to grab onto the feet and we'll just rock from side to side. And then I would just like you to start to roll the chin down towards the chest. And hold it here. Allow the shoulders to relax as well. Maybe start to walk those hands out. Can even take a block possibly on top of those feet or just allow it to just hang out. Our 
to walk those hands back in if you have them out. And we'll sit nice and tall, roll those shoulders back. And we'll draw those knees in towards each other. Reach those fingertips towards the front of the mat, hollow out that belly, and then slowly lower the body all the way back down. Keep the bend into the knees. And bring those arms down by the body. Let's start to draw that left knee in towards the chest, extending that right leg out in front. Allow the hips to go slightly over to the left. Left knee comes over to the right. Open the arms out into a T. Keep the shoulders on the earth. We come into our supine twist. And you can bring that right hand to that left knee. Gaze out over that left shoulder. Breathe into this twist. can be closed or half wide. Let's gently come out of this twist. Realign the hips, extending that left leg out in front, draw that right knee in, bring the hips slightly over to the right, right knee comes over to the left, we gaze out over that right shoulder, over here. Gently come out of the twist. Realign the hips, extending that right leg out in front. Bring those arms up overhead. Allow the toes to reach towards the front of the room, the fingertips towards the back. We get this full body stretch, this full body lengthening. This so good. And then take an inhale together. As we exhale, bring those arms down by our side and setting ourselves up for our Shavasana. Wow. Well deserved today. Taking this opportunity to allow the body to rest, to allow the body to rejuvenate. If you feel any tension in the body, just allow it to release. Let yourself start to melt into the mat and into the earth. And to let yourself float away for just a few.
and slowly start to awaken the body, awaken the senses, maybe wiggling those fingers or wiggling those toes. And when you're ready, rolling on to one side and taking an inhale and an exhale as you breathe. I also take this opportunity to allow the forehead to rest onto the mat. We're leaving behind anything we don't need to carry with us any longer. Leave it here. Press into the palms of the hands to slowly rise up into a seated position. Eyes can be closed or halfway. And bringing hands into heart center and chin to chest. And being grateful for today. Grateful for this practice. Grateful for our yoga community. My hope is that your hearts have been filled, filled with light and with love. And that you take the opportunity to share it with those that you meet today, tomorrow, Taking one last inhale for our arms to reach up all the way up towards the sky, fill the body all the way up. And then as we exhale, bring those hands back to that heart center, pressing thumb knuckles into chest. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope to see you all again soon. Thank you. Namaste.